Chikamutsu wasn't launching a car. He was launching a technology that could be put into any car in the world. Some people watching this may have been skeptical. After all, Maxwell Chikambozzo wasn't the first inventor to have claimed to have created some kind of free energy device. He wasn't even the first person of African origin featured on this show who made such a claim. That honour goes to Sasha Stone, the Rhodesian-born charlatan who claims to be powering his Kentucky-based micronation on zero-point energy. As far as I'm aware, an entirely fictional source of power. We are able to power up very significant electric output. Just tell us what you can. <laughs> it's just a generator. It's a normal generator, electric, and <laughs> it's made by the new earth. <laughs> and uh, it's working. So a free energy device. That's very fine. good. OK, that's it. Don't say anything more because you get yourself into trouble. It's often said that the hardest part of making a free energy device is working out where to hide the battery. Sasha Stone didn't even bother. He just had his assistant plug the device into a wall power socket. At least Maxwell Chikambozzo did not make that mistake. In fact, he is doing the exact opposite. The socket is in his car and he's plugging in a fridge. This is a generator. I think if you can go to the fridge, you can see he is going to plug in and you will see that the fridge is going to be powered by a car. Like I said, you can buy a car. You don't need to have a generator at your home. You use your car. How is this possible? What uncanny miracle of science is this? Oh, brave new world that has such wonders in it. All your life, you grew up with the dogma that cars and fridges live in separate universes. One is for transport, the other for food preservation. Many men have tried to combine these technologies. Did they try and fail? No, they tried and died. Motorway service stations are littered with the icy corpses of the men who thought they could master both refrigeration and transport. And I know you just rewound the video to look at that fridge. Was the light really on? Is this some kind of uncanny CGI? Did Maxwell Chikambozzo hire the special effects director from James Cameron's Avatar franchise in order to produce uh, an uncanny, convincing special effect? <laughs> A car-powered fridge. This can't be real, you're thinking. Th these words are echoing in your shattered mind. But deep down, you know it is real. You know what you have seen because you saw it with your own eyes. The limitless potential of car and fridge fused together. 